So good evening, good evening, good evening. We are back again. We are going to talk about Kylian Mbappe uh, rejecting a one billion, one billion. I have to, I have to really, really, really sit and actually work out how much money that is. One billion euro contract. That is insane amounts of money to kick a bag of air around. And uh, he's rejected it, apparently. Uh, they have now put him up for sale. He's not on um, the tour of Japan. And this is going to go on for quite a while more yet. It's not going to be an easy deal to get done for anyone, that's for sure. But um, make sure you are smashing the like button, people. Uh, make sure you are subscribed. I do appreciate everyone of you that is subscribed. Um, keep putting the content around, share it around. Make sure you are leaving your comments and super chats down below as well. And I will have a video out, excuse me, uh, on the other channel straight after this one. So go and check that out. Uh, Mikel Arteta has spoken, done a little press conference yesterday. And um, he spoke about Thomas Party. Obviously, we've got Arsenal got a game against Man United tonight as well. So yeah, go and check that out as well, people. Uh, but this Mbappe um, story is insane. I can't lie. It is actually crazy. Um, but PSG are crazy. Uh, their fan base are nuts, that's for sure. Uh, the way the clubs run, despite winning all of the trophies, 21 trophies in the last nine years, um, that club is all over the gaff. I can't lie. It's actually crazy. Um, but it's, um, it's going to be a very expensive deal, no matter who signs him. Obviously, if you can be in a position where you're turning down a 10-year contract for 1 billion euros then you know you're minted no matter where you go. And you, and that's why you can afford to go, no, not, not taking that, mate. One billion. But the one thing I will say about Mbappe, it would have been very easy to take the billion, wouldn't it? Knowing that you're sweet for the next 10 years. And when I say sweet, I mean you're like sweet, sweet. I know he's obviously getting paid a hell of a lot of money right now, but a billion is a lot of money, a serious amount of wedge. And... um yeah, I don't think there's many clubs on the planet that can actually pay that money to Mbappe <laughs> for the next decade. Uh, Real Madrid is obviously the likely destination. Uh, they can afford him. Despite millions of people around the world somehow deluding themselves that Real Madrid are skin, they're not. They're absolutely caked in money. <clears throat> and in the last eight years, they've actually um, got the best um, transfer ins and outs over all of the big clubs, uh, net spend, if you will. Um, they've actually spent less in the last well, 15 years, since 2008, net spend. They've actually spent less than Arsenal. So I don't know who it was that started this little rumour that Real Madrid are skimmed, they got to abide by FFP and blah, 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 blah. The last time they had a big summer was the season they signed Eden Hazard. That was the last season they, the, that they actually had a big summer. If you look at their signing since then, um, I think they only signed Camavinga two years ago. Two many last season. A couple of other little squad fillers, but they've turned a profit three out of the last five um, transfer windows. So they can definitely, definitely, definitely afford Mbappe. Um, apparently, he's already agreed terms. Um, PSG are convinced of that. It's basically they want an answer on a new deal or leave. Um, that was the deadline, 15th of July. That has come and gone. That was obviously a week ago. And there has been nothing at all. He is now considered available for transfer, uh, Fabrizio said. Um, it's kind of it's kind of crazy because Neymar went there for 200 million. This guy's only got one year left. In, in fact, it's 11 months left. Let's just be real with it. How much is he worth? Like, how much is he genuinely worth? Because I've seen fees of around 200 million as well. <clears throat> and I'll be honest, it's not just the 200 million, it's the wages. It's the wages that's the killer. Because he will be the highest paid player in the world. He probably already is. But he's going to get an even bigger pay rise. So you've got to add in 200 million quid plus the wages for, what, five years? We're talking some serious, serious dollar here. And I think... I think there's quite a few clubs that can afford to buy him in terms of the fee but it's now like i said the wages the agent fee the image rights and all of that the bonuses he'll obviously have the ballon d'or bonus clause he'll have the champions league he'll have the la liga if he goes to la liga or the premier league etc 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 so 
it's going to cost a fortune. The only clubs I can see genuinely being able to afford this player are Man City, Real Madrid, Chelsea, Man United, and that's about it. And people are laugh when I say Man United. Man United ain't as skint as people think they are. Man United are actually similar to Madrid. They can actually go out there and spend dough. And they're getting rid of a few players as well. Save, they've saved over a million quid off the wage bill by getting rid of Ronaldo, um, or nearly a million quid, by getting rid of Ronaldo and De Gea. And that's a million, nearly a million quid a week. I think it works out about, what, 890 grand a week they've saved? Well, that'll pay Mbappe's wages. <laughs> now they've just got to find 200 mil. So they can definitely afford him. Yeah, Arsenal's wage bill has been halved since Arteta's got there. So I think we can afford the fee. I think we've got the money for the fee. But I don't think we're ever going to pay anyone that kind of wage. That that will just be mad. But you know what? Stranger things have happened. Um, but if I was a betting man, I'd say Real Madrid. I think that's the most likely destination. I think that they are the biggest club on the world on the planet. Um, and I do think that it will light up La Liga and actually bring a, bring a bit more credit and a lot more eyes onto the league because the league is not as good as it used to be. It's not got as many superstars, if any, really. Um, you know, back in the day, the old Clasicos was just like, wow. But now, you look at the teams, I just think, not really many world-class players in that league. There's a lot of very good players, but all the best players play in the Premier League. Uh, whereas before, it was all the best players played in, in Spain, and before that, it was Italy. So, it would bring some, some attention to the league, and it would maybe drag the league up a little bit. So, so yeah, it's going to be mad to... Mad to think that somebody is going to pay that kind of money to a player to kick a football around. It's actually obscene when you deep it. Uh, but this is the new era of football, people. We have to suck it up. We have to see where he's going. There's a lot of links today that he's um, like, you know, Chelsea are front runners and Chelsea are definitely in for him and they can get the deal done. Obviously, Poch has worked with him as well. So, again, that was an easy story to write for whoever wrote that one. Yeah, because, oh, look, Poch, oh, and Mbappe, oh, yep, yeah, two and two together and get five. And people are, people are lap that up. But I don't think he's going Chelsea at all. If I, was to, if I was to put money on it, it's Real Madrid. If he don't go Real Madrid, it would not surprise me one bit if he ends up at Man City. They could give Bernardo Silva to PSG. Part of the deal, bish, bash, bosh. Could you imagine Man City? <laughs> oh, my days. Man City with Mbappe and Haaland. Yeah, um, might as well just keep the title, lads, because we ain't getting it back until they retire. <laughs> the rest of us will be finished. It could happen as well. Hey, listen, don't rule it out. Man City have got the dough. Man City have spun a profit on transfers, I think, three out of the last five as well. So, listen, they um, they ain't spent a lot of money, Man City, in the last five years in terms of net spend, ins and outs, very similar to Real Madrid. So, you never know. You never know. Who would you want to go to? Man City or Real Madrid? If you have the choice, obviously Real Madrid is the biggest club on the planet. Man City are the best at the moment. They can both pay the money. They can both offer you a chance to win everything. Where would you go? Me personally, I'd be going Madrid. Who the fuck wants to live in Manchester? Let's just be real with it. <laughs> Madrid or Manchester? I like a bit of sun on me back, mate. Um... Yeah, and I'm pretty sure the birds in uh, in Madrid are better looking than the ones in Manchester. <laughs> uh, well, they definitely got a better accent. <laughs> Spanish is so much better than Mane. Eh, Mane, I'm from Mane. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be here in that love. I'd rather hear from a Madrista. Uh, but yes, I would. Um, I wouldn't rule that out. I would not rule him out going to Man City. They're going to get rid of Cancelo. They're going to get rid of David Silva, maybe Kyle Walker, possibly. Gundogan's gone. They they could they could go for him, you know. And uh, Pep Guardiola, Carlo Ancelotti. It's it's kind of close. I can't lie. It is kind of close as to what Mbappe wants to do. But he's definitely going. He's not been taken on the tour of Japan. They're left absolutely fuming. They are so fuming they didn't take him on the tour. But it is what it is. Listen, when you're a when you're a club that doesn't really have any direction other than just throwing money at everyone. And not no real plan. And this is the thing. Man City have a plan and a direction with what they're doing. 
PSG, it just seems like, oh, we'll just get every name we can here and hope it works. Sergio Ramos. Ah, oh, come on. Jesus Christ. Messi. Fair enough. Every club in the world. By the way, what a, what a school chair he scored last night. 94th minute, 30-yard free kick, top bins to win the game. On his debut, my goat. My goat's better than your goat. It's as simple as that. Uh, but yeah, that's what they do. They Neymar, Messi, Mbappe, Ramos. Do you know what I'm they just keep buying all these names and uh, throwing a fortune at them. And ultimately, when you've got that many egos in your, in your team, they're all going to clash and it's not going to work properly. Um, and despite them winning 21 trophies in nine years, which, listen, I wish my club had done that. It is a bit of a mess at PSG, isn't it? But there we go. It is what it is. Anyway, let me know where you think he's ending up. Leave it in the comment section down below. Uh, let me know where, um, where, yeah, let me know where you think he's going. How much do you think he's going to go for as well? Less than a year left on the contract. Because any club could just sit there and Bappe could say, well, I ain't leaving yet. I want to leave on a free. How would they do that? Would they pay him off? Like, it's a bit of a mad one. I can't lie. Um, but let me know how much you think he's actually worth in today's market with 11 months left. And uh, like I said, let me know where he's going. Uh, anyway, smash the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Share the content around. Leave your comments and super chats down below. And uh, we're out of here. Adios, amigos.